Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Evolution Devastator Breakout Pro by Keep Forest. Devastator Breakout continues the long line of cutting edge trailer toolkit libraries from Keep Forest. This time, Keep Forest have focused on a darker aesthetic with brash bass sounds, distorted leads, and dirty in your face Brahms. From hits and drums to Brahms, benders, pulses, and loops, there is a huge amount of content to explore. This toolkit is sure to wake up the neighbors while giving you modern sounds that will fit right into the most demanding AAA Hollywood trailers. Evolution Devastator Breakout comes in both a Core and Pro Edition, which are each compatible with the free contact player. Each edition comes with 105 patches across 15 categories and includes over 2300 WAV files and over 900 loops. The Pro Edition includes an additional Smart XY Morphing Engine with 63 kit presets and 7 scene presets. In addition, the Pro Edition also includes over 1300 handcrafted sound design WAV files. Devastator Breakout is available in the Core Edition for $299 and in the Pro Edition for $399. Today we're checking out Evolution Devastator Breakout in the Pro Edition. And as you probably already know, there's actually a Core Edition and a Pro Edition for the Devastator Breakout library. Um, most of the features are the same. Most of the sounds that you'll get, you'll get in both packages, but there's a few extras that we'll go through in the Pro Edition. As you can see, there is just a plethora of content to get through. Hits, drums, bass, brahms, you name it. But the real aesthetic behind this library, whereas all of the Keep Forced Evolution libraries really focus on that AAA Hollywood modern cutting edge trailer sound, this one does that, but it does it on kind of the darker side. Um, of the spectrum. So this one really has a darker aesthetic with, you know, more brash sounds, more dirty, in-your-face, distorted sounds, however you want to say it. But once again, it's kind of an all-in-one trailer toolkit. We're not going to be able to get anywhere close to touching all of the sounds in this library. We would be here forever to do that because there is literally just a ton of sounds in here. Um, but we're going to try and give you a good sampling of each one of the categories and kind of talk through the engine for those of you especially who aren't familiar with it. So strap in, we've got a long review ahead. So to start out with, we're going to go into the hits category, and I've already got organic hits loaded up. We're going to go through a few of these before we move on, so you can kind of get a feel for what's here. and I'm barely scratching the surface. You can see each of these blue keys <laughs> represent a completely different sound. And of course, these are your, are your tonal key switches that you can use to put it in the key that you need it to be in. And any of these, if you put them on, you can hit the stretch mode and it will stretch that particular sample across the keyboard, which is just really cool. So you can see it's stretching it uh, across that area, at least a two octave range. So just really, really neat. We'll go into the engine a little bit more, but let's go ahead and move on to the wide hits and see what we have. So just as it suggests, these definitely have a wider stereo image. If you're listening in headphones, you will especially notice that. So moving along to the epic tight hits. OK, 
Okay, let's go to the far hits. That gives you a sampling of the epics. Alright, let's move along to the booms. You definitely need to either have a good pair of headphones or really good um, studio monitors to be able to hear this because, you know, those really have a lot of sub in them, a lot of sub frequencies. Um, we're going to skip around a little bit because we've just got so much to get through, but let's go to the saturated tails and see what we have there. Really nice. All right, let's go to the organic massive slams before we change categories. All right, and just to show you around the engine just a little bit before we do move categories, you have three main sections. Your main your, your main page, of course, is where we're at now, where you actually have full control over the sample itself and where the sample starts. You have an LFO that you can control. So you know you can draw an LFO on here to actually let the sample run with that LFO in place. You've got a filter cutoff, pan, volume. You can control all of that by drawing in a grid, which is really nice, and reset them all with a single click of a button. Another really cool feature. Um, you have a main reverb here, which is just larger than life. Check this out. Just as a comparison, let's take it off and put it back on. You'll hear it even more on some of the others. You also have an effect section which um, you can, of course, control each individual module simply by hitting the plus button, or they've given you a ton of really great presets that you can select from, from just, you know, really strong distorted uh, effects chains to, you know, gentle saturation, all sorts of different things. So just to give you an idea, smear saturation. I mean, that's brutal. Really, really cool. And then last but definitely not least is the fantastic Devastator Sequencer, which Keep Forest has just done an amazing job with this sequencer. I'll actually pull that out when we get to some of the other material because it kind of lends itself to the sequencer a little bit better. But this thing is a gold mine, so we'll get into that as we move along. All right, let's go to the drum section, starting with drum kits. Hear just a lot of really cool stuff going on. And of course, you have a ton of different drum kits simply by hitting the preset button. So we'll check out just a couple of these. I mean, the amount of content here is just phenomenal. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for putting up with my finger drumming. Modern rock. Let's try one more of these. I mean, golly, you can see there's no way we can touch all this. It's just honestly astounding how many kits are in here. You've got cinematic kits. You've got modern kits, rock kits, trap kits. Let's do the trap. Let's check that one out. Again, tons and tons to play with here. And again, you've got your rhythm sequencer, so you can sequence this completely, which is just really, really cool. Okay, gun handlings. Let's see what we've got there. Okay, let's check out gun handlings too. And let's skip down to liquid crunch. And how about we go to the kicks? I think that's the same sample, just tuned a little bit differently. Oh, it was in stretch mode. Let's take it out. So another great thing to mention about the Devastator Breakout is the fact that not only do you get the contact instrument, but you also get the WAV files. So for those of you who like to actually bring the WAV files into your DAW and manipulate those, you can do that here. So just something to keep in mind. Let's check out the snares. And let's go to the second set of snares. Okay, I'm going to jump all the way down to the TikToks. I think those are unique, so let's check those out. I mean, you can really hear the clock sound. I mean, just imagine, you know, put some reverb on that. I mean, just really cool. Really, really cool. Oh, there it is. There's the reverb. I mean, you can have some fun with that. Okay, let's jump down to the rubber drums. These are really cool.
and they you can see that they've already engaged the sequencer for this. So the sequencer is already on. In addition to the step sequencer, you have panning for the step that you can do. In addition to the volume, I should say, you've got panning, you've got filter, and you've got pitch sequencers. So you can get into some craziness here, which is really fun. But let's check out some of the sounds. And just to show you how easy it is. So you've got an entire selection of presets that you can actually change your category from cinematic to TikToks to trailer drums, you name it. And you can load those up and play one of those. Or I can just pick a random one. So let's just hit random and load and let's see what we've got. Okay, let's go to, I want something more complex. Maybe let's go down to trailer drums and see what we have. Now listen to how easy it is to mix this up. So let's say I like um, the number of steps. I can just hit randomize. And I have a brand new, completely custom, all my own um, sequence, which is just so cool. And you can do that, obviously, with the panning. You can do it with the filter. And you can do it with the pitch. And I might have created, created a jumbled mess, but we don't know till we try. So let's see what it sounds like. That is so cool. I mean, you could just have so much fun playing around with this thing. All right, let's move to some Tycos. And that's the whole Tycos. So let's see what it sounds like when we put the closed Tycos on. And you know, you can actually layer these to great effect. So you could use some closed Tycos, some hall Tycos, and just all sorts of drums together and get some really, really cool sounds. And let's layer them together and... Just really, really cool. Okay. Last but not least, let's go through a few of the drum loops and see what we've got. So you can see these color codes represent different instruments. So you can layer these. And even though they are loops, because you can layer them, you can come up with completely new loops other than what the sample content would present on the surface. So just to give you an example, I'm just going to mess around a little bit and show you how easy it is to create a brand new loop. And then the exact same loops, I'm just going to hit some different keys and see what we get. All 
I mean, <laughs> it's just so cool. You can have so much fun with that. Okay, let's get out of the drums and move to the bass and Brahms. Let's go to the Devastator Brahms and see what we have. Oh, yes. I mean, these are awesome. Let's put some reverb on there. Instantly listen to that. And oh my goodness, you have so many different reverbs to choose from. Let's do mountains distant. I mean, you can completely shake it up. And, you know, we could go to the effects section and let's just load a preset. Let's do something. Let's do some attack enhance and soft distortion. So we start like this. We add the effects chain. And then let's try maybe something even more. How about some flanged loudness? Dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> all right, let's put them all back to normal. Let's go back to the main page and let's keep moving. And again, you know, if we need to change the tone, we have the blue keys at the bottom. We can just change what, what our key is. So if we want to go down to D or to the lowest D, this goes actually way below an 88 note keyboard even. Just mammoth, mammoth. Okay, brass and Brahms. Got to put some reverb on that. <laughs> I mean, these sounds are so modern, so now. These sounds are just so now. I'm so impressed. All right, signature Brahms. And, and again, every one of these blue notes is a completely different sound, so we're barely scratching the surface. The tails on these are just so nasty. All right, distortions, bass.
All right. Last for the bass and Brahms category, let's do some hybrid bass. Really, really cool. Okay, look at this. <laughs> We're not even close to being done. We're got to start moving a little faster, I guess, unfortunately. How about Brahms Benders? Those tails are just ridiculous. And again, we have full ADSR controls, so you know, you can mani manipulate the sound in a whole lot of different ways. Whoa. I got to say, I would love to sit in on a sound design session with these guys. I mean, how in the world do you get these super awesome cutting edge sounds? These are just really cool. Distorted benders. Lead benders. Okay, short benders. Just do a few of these. <laughs> And lastly, specific benders. Really, really cool. Just uh, don't don't do this too loud in your studio with the neighbors. Uh, if they're too close, <laughs> you'll have people calling the cops. This stuff is crazy. Signature effects. I mean, if you heard this coming from someone's house, goodness. <laughs> Amped signatures.
so many of those sounds just then remind me of um, the guitar sound that The Edge gets in Octung Baby, uh, U2's 1991 album. I mean, that sounds so much like a song called uh, Till the End of the World. It sounds almost identical. It's so cool. Modern Signatures. Okay, let's go to bass signatures. Let's go ahead and move along. We're only halfway through and I've barely scratched the surface. We're not even halfway through. Goodness. All right. Let's do a few signals. Signature signals. How about we jump down to resonating signals? go to ambient signals one. Those are really cool. I mean, this is not just great for trailer music, but for things like scoring to picture, if you're doing, uh, you know, things like, um, I mean, horror movies, sci-fi movies, action video games. Goodness, this is right up that alley. Okay, how about alarms? Let's go full spectrum. Okay, I want to do this one. Tenant pulse mode. It's alarm soft tenant pulse mode. Oh, yeah. You can see. They are pulling the sequencer in here. Basic action 16th two. So again, you know, you can change that up if you want to do a completely different rhythm. And they've got the master reverb enabled on these.
And they have the same thing instead of the soft for the full spectrum, where you can do the tenant pulse mode on that as well. Resonances. How about hybrid resonations? Dang, those are cool. I love that. How about signature resonations? Okay. And let's go to Ag Atmospheric Long Resonations, or Resonances 1. move along to slow motions. Let's see what this is all about. All right, so let's have a little bit of fun at this point. How about we introduce the LFO here? And maybe we just go, I don't know, just something basic. And let's see what that does. <laughs> And here's what that sound sounded like before. And we can do the cutoff. Really cool. All right, let's do glitches and noises. And lastly, let's do downers. Now friends, that's a downer. <laughs> that's awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Reversed effects? How about we do reversed base effects?
and let's do, let's skip down to tonal rises. I mean, goodness. All right, we've got TikToks. Let's go into the full TikToks part one. And just for fun, let's put an effects chain on here. How about we do something, oh, I don't know, maybe like smear saturation? <laughs> oh, you can have some fun with this. All right, let's skip to the next category. Let's do some pulses, thump pulses. And let's skip down to low pulses. Right, and let's just jump down to specific pulse. I mean, lots and lots and lots of content. Okay, tonal loops. Let's see what we've got here. Bass and Brahms loops. Okay, let's jump down to bender loops.
And let's just jump down to alarm loops. And I want to jump back up just because I'm interested in the signals, signal and signature loops. I mean, wow. Okay, final category that is shared between Core and Pro, and then we're going to show you something that's specific to the Pro Edition. So let's just do a few playables here. And again, we're barely going to scratch the surface because you have distorted bass, and it looks like just one patch. But when you click the, down, the drop down, you can see it's far from one patch. And let's just cycle through a few of those. And let's go to base effects. And these are all tonal. So it's the same loop, or excuse me, the same effect, but played across, stretched across the keys so you can do it in tune. And again, when I drop down, you can see there's 13 different ones here. Lots of different ones there. Let's jump down to the bend leads. And here we will see we've got 25 different ones. I think it, you can only see 22, but it actually goes down below to see to show 25. So let's just jump through a few of these. Wow. And classic leads. And here we have 40 different classic leads.
And let's go to Cinematic Synth Plugs. And again, here we have 26 different ones. And you can also access those from the snapshot menu as well. So you can see you've got all sorts of playables here that you can play with. That one's kind of quiet. Right, and let's move to guitar plucks. And we have 21 different guitar plucks. All right, let's jump straight to what makes the Pro unique. So there's a lot of different features with the Pro. So far, everything I've shown you is included in both packages. The Pro, however, um, comes with a little bit, uh, you know, it comes with extra wave files. So I believe there's 1,300 handcrafted sound design wave files, and it comes with 63 kit presets and seven scene presets in the Smart XY Morphing Engine. Now, those of you who are familiar with Rysinge, um, which was a previous Keepforce library, are gonna be really familiar with the look and feel of this. So this is the engine, and I personally had not used Rysinge before. I have multiple Keepforce libraries, but I've not used the Rysinge engine. And I gotta say, this thing is a monster. Um, so you've got eight different sound cores going on here. And what is so cool, it's almost like having a mini DAW within a contact instrument. So you can actually load different kinds of sounds. You can say what category you want, and then you can randomize the sounds, or you can arrange them exactly as you want them, drag the timeline over to move where that sound's going to come in. I mean, it is just... Unbelievable. So let's let's just make something just from scratch. So I'm going to go in here, and if I hit Alt and on the unit, it's going to reset the units for me. So at this point, I'm going to hit Unit 1, and I'm just going to pick a category. So let's say we want to do hits. I want to do wide hits here. For Unit 2, I'm going to do epic hits. For Unit 3, let's put in some of those cool benders. How about a Brom bender? And then maybe for Unit 4, we do another bender with a distorted bender. And then how about a signal, one of those signature signals, and an alarm, a soft alarm, no tinnitus inducing alarms. Um, let's do a downer. And then finally, let's put, oh gosh, there's so much to choose from. Let's do one of those hybrid resonations, okay? So we're gonna go back I'm trying to remember, is that, oh, okay. Now we're going to go up here and you can either, you can see you've got your tonal keys here and then you have all of these different ones can be signature sounds, right? So you can make your own sound here, but I'm just gonna hit, instead of randomizing a single key, I'm on C right now, I'm just gonna do the whole kit. So it does every single key at once. And I'm going to say, yep, I want to randomize everything. 
and let's just see what we've got. This is just completely from scratch, just putting random stuff in. Let's see what we've got. This one's long coming. Wait for it. Wait for it. I mean, <laughs> crazy, right? Just crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's do one more. Let's just reset it. I want to do unit one. Let's do, um, let's do epic hits. Unit two, let's do wide hits. Unit three, let's do devastator Brahms. Unit four, let's do um, hybrid base. Unit five, let's do uh, signature Brahms. Unit six, let's do uh, a full spectrum alarm. Unit seven, Let's do, I don't know, reversed effect maybe. And unit eight, let's do benders. Let's do a lead bender. Okay. What are we going to get? Who knows? Let's find out. This one's a long time coming. Can I move it forward? I guess I can. Oh, that's just gonna, okay, let's move the next one. And again, you can move these guys all over the place so that you can get them exactly as you want them to hit in exactly the spot you want. And you can see, you can magnify and shrink the timeline. If you want to change something about one of the individual sounds, you know, not only do you have your volume control, you know, you can play the sound. But in addition, if you hit the little wrench, you have full control. So you've got an LFO table, pan table, volume table, filter and pitch, ADSR, you know, you, it's just the sky's the limit. You can pretty much do what you want to do. So. In addition to that, you also have this XY morphing engine and you can record that. So let's say that I want to hit record and I want to say we want to do some sort of just kind of X and then I don't know. Now I'm going to hit play. Oh, I think it's because I didn't do it on that key. Okay, let's try it again. Well, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> anyway, the engine, it's definitely not the engine's fault. It's my fault. This thing is just a complete beast. I mean, you can, I, I'm not at all doing it justice. It is honestly astounding what all this can do. I mean, instantly you have your own sound unique to you. I mean, it's just so cool. It's randomly grabbing these wave files. And again, if I want to, I can actually go pick a particular one. So, you know, I can pick, I can go through here and pick the exact files I want and I can preview them. So that I can find exactly the one I want. And, you know, you can just pretty much do whatever you want to with this thing. It is just loaded. Uh, you know, you've got your tuning that you can change on your XY, your filter, um, your scenes you can even pull them in different directions so that they're, I think, closer or far farther in the stereo field. Let's see, what did I do with my... I mean, 
it's just loaded. So friends, that is Evolution Devastator Breakout Pro. Again, the Pro Edition, you get this XY morphing engine, you get 13 handcrafted sound design wave files, and you get 63 kit presets and seven scene presets. In both the Core and the Pro, you get everything we went over today in all 14 of these folders. So it is just a ton of content. If you do action video game scoring, if you do trailers, um, if you do any kind of hard hitting, in your face, distorted, you know, cutting edge, dark type music, this is for you. I mean, this is just really, I'm super impressed. Uh, this, when you open this thing up and you start playing it, you instantly want to sit down and create a trailer because there's just so much great content here. And in reality, you could create an entire trailer with just this library. Um, obviously you probably want to go at some point and, you know, layer some strings and some brass and some other things on here, but you could literally just make a trailer with just this library. Thanks for checking out Evolution Devastator Breakout Pro with me today. So what do you think? Have you used any of the other libraries in the Devastator series or from Keep Forest? How do you think this one compares? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please like the video and share it with your friends and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also check out samplelibrarywreview.com for more news and reviews and to stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.